Welcome back to a, another Sunday edition of Eat My Shorts. Right here in the ranting chair, smoking me a filter tube of doom in place of the lucky strike. Sorting the world's problems out after a trip to town. So, life post car is very complicated for me because it takes a lot of doing just to arrange things and a lot of waiting on people. But, like, in the middle of me filming my last video, I cut it off because I saw the neighbor outside. And I'm like, hey, man, uh, I had a bad car accident. Like, She's like, yeah, the other neighbor, Carol, was talking about it. Like, you got fucked up. I'm like, yeah, you know what sucks about it is everything is so many miles away, I can't walk that far. She's like, yeah, it fucking blows, dude. I'm like, so, hey, if you ain't doing nothing... When the liquor store opens at noon, I'd like a ride to the liquor store. That way I can get cigarettes at the same time, and then you run me up to the mailbox so I can get my mail. She's like, yeah, I can do that. And so, like, yeah. So we get to the ye old liquor store, and the liquor store is fucking closed, right? And it's closed. And it's not just closed because it's Sunday and this is Idaho. It's closed during normal business hours. And, you know, so I'm like, all right, whatever. They're probably just hung over, you know, or... Might be some stupid fucking holiday. I don't know what it is because they do that here. I think they're four days a year the liquor store closes. And all the old drunkies revolt, right? So I'm going next door. It's like, hey, man, you're all jacked up. What happened to you? It's like, yeah, I got T-boned at 55 miles an hour. Oh, dude, you got to catch a fucking break. Because, like, they all know me, dude. I'm, like, in there all the time. I'm chatting with people. And they're like, man, you're walking more jacked up than usual. So, yeah, it turns out I almost fucking died. And you know what? I will never take the use of my legs or my life for granted again. Okay? You know? And so I go and I get my fucking big old bag of tobacco and my fucking two things of filter tubes. Uh, in combination with how much of the filter tubes I have, that should last me a little while. Right? And so I'm getting out back to the car and, like, Black chick, he's like, what the fuck's going on with the liquor store, bro? Like, they're not open. I was like, yeah, I know, right? I really don't want to get drunk on beer because my poor little noggin or my liver can't handle that kind of level of excitement. She's like, I don't know how you drink that crap, man. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? See, she's at that cognitive stage in her drinking uh, that she knows that after a long day at work, cracking open a can and drinking something fizzy like them, you know, those female drinks that most ladies drink. Uh, I told her the story about the voodoo is doo-doo and uh, why you should never drink those devil things. Oh, the peach vomit is terrible in the morning. You know, and we're figuring out, like, because I left my phone at home because it was dead, right? So, you know, like, I figured out, oh, fuck it, if I'm in a car crash this time, I don't even want to call anybody. Like, I'd just rather die and get it over with, you know? This is the way my brain works. And so we're sitting there in the old liquor store parking lot, and we see about 500 people come up and crank on the fucking door, and the liquor store not open. And so they're all fucking standing around smoking cigarettes, having the shakes, fucking cursing. I was like, oh, fucking open, God damn you. You know, and I'm like, hey, man, you know, there's one right across from Costco we can hit. And uh, there's one down by the old hospital. She's like, how do you know this? I said, I grew up here. I know where all the liquor store is. Okay. And she kind of chuckled about that. So we're having a conversation sitting in the car, probably the most talking we've ever done, you know. And, uh, well, they finally get to the damn liquor store, right? And they open it like, oh, you're going to have to give me about five minutes. I'm like, dude, you almost caused a riot. What the fuck, man? Don't be closed on Sunday. Ain't nobody like being sober on Sunday, you know, except for the Jesus crowd, which is cool if you do, man. Make no judgment. You know, I was telling Chicky that, you know, the, uh, I remember back in the good old bad days, like they didn't even sell a pack of cigarettes in this town on a fucking Sunday, man. So you like either had to, buy extra or fucking go without, right? Well, they changed all that, and, and for the better. Uh, you can actually buy alcohol on Sundays now in Idaho, and you can even buy cigarettes on Sundays now, which I don't know why they ever fucking had that as a thing. This town used to be like fucking Mayberry. <laughs> right, so I'm getting there. Liquor store ladies hung the fuck over, and I know because I could smell it because she, you know, the neighbor, of course, like, well, how do you know she's hung over? I'm like, the dark glasses. <clears throat> the look on someone's face that says, I've been up drinking all night, and I do not give zero fuck about it, and I feel zero bad about it. Usually a good clue. It's like, huh, I never thought about that. I'm like, oh yeah, you'd be surprised how many people you see that are drunk or hung over in public once you know the warning signs, right? <clears throat> I 
So I'm getting up the counter. Got my two handles of vodka in the pint for Chicky, you know, because bribery vodka will get you everywhere in life, you know. And I'm getting back out to the car, man. I gave her five bucks for the gasoline. I spent like six bucks on a bottle of vodka for her, and, you know, life's looking up, right? So I'm getting home, getting to the mailbox and shit, and, you know, like checking the mail, right? Because I haven't been out to check the mail in a while, and, uh, you know, I had to check the mail, right? And she's telling me, man, everybody's a fucking Karen around here, bro. Like, you know, her dog got off the leash because, you know, her dog's a little shithead. Well, actually, it's a giant shithead. It's a snow lab puppy, right? So, of course, he's going to misbehave. I think it's actually a C, she, uh, you know, dog loves me. Like, me and the dog made friends, right? That's just the way it is with me and all dogs. We always make friends, especially the bigger the dog, the friendlier I am with it. I'm a sucker for things that are big enough to eat people, you know? I, I like it. Fits my personality. Don't judge. So, like, she's telling me, like, yeah, I got reported because my dog got off the leash and I couldn't catch her, and then I caught her, and then I got a notice about that, and then I got a notice because uh, there, there are people around here that don't pick up the poop after their dogs and shit. I'm like, you pick up your shit every time. I watch you, man. Not, like, in a creepy way, you know, like, people watch you while you're in the shower, you know, but just, like, I'm sitting outside having a cigarette, and then I see her, you know. Just fortuitous timing, that's all. You know, and so she drops me off. I'm like, hey, man, like, uh, you want something to go with your vodka? Because I know you don't like to drink vodka by itself. So, like, ugh. I'm like, yeah. And so I'm like, hey, mom's got some diet sodas hanging around the fucking establishment. I won't drink those if I was on fire in the Sahara Desert. I would rather drink sand. Right? She's like, really? I like diet soda. I'm like, fucking have at it, man. Knock yourself out. Right? And so she sees my apartment. It's like, what the fuck happened here? It's like, well, after mom's fall and uh, me not getting around very well, I ain't been getting shit done except for getting drunk and falling on my ass. She's like, you need a maid. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, the, I had one of those once, but the problem is, is see, when you have a female around your place, clean the place up, especially after a few drinks, uh, they have this nasty habit of getting pregnant, and usually you're at fault for it. You know, she's laughing her ass off at that. It's like, yeah, that ain't fucking funny, bro. Like, you know, my dishwasher caught a, caught a case of the twins, you know, my fucking washing machine and my dryer, you know, uh, they both got pregnant too. You know, the vacuum floor personnel, uh, they got it too. Like, like, Drunk Joe has this problem with boobies. Uh, boobies are wonderful, but the problem is when you drink too much, you assume every pair of boobs is friendly, and it will be at the time. But see, when you make them pregnant, and then six months later, they're beating your drunk ass with a sandal, you know, and yelling at you in Spanish, like, that's when you know you fucked up, okay? It happened to me, trust me. Hi, my name is Joe, I'm a middle-aged alcoholic, and uh, I, I basically have a death wish. I was born by the pussy. I shall die by the pussy, too, right? You know, unless some kid takes me out of the fucking fight in a car crash, you know? But, yeah, you know, we got to chatting and stuff and things, and, you know, like, I arranged me a ride, man, to town, and, uh, yeah, bribery vodka will get you everywhere in life. Uh, so, uh, if you like the Vigeo, you like the Vigeo. If you don't, you don't. Um, being sober on Sunday can definitely fucking eat my shorts, and I am looking forward to screwdrivers tonight with the last of my orange juice. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to make better decisions in life moving forward. Uh, you know, so I got things done. I even managed to shower today and brush my teeth. I didn't fall down. You know, my knee gave out when I was going down the stairs earlier, uh, coming from knocking on chick's door. And I'm like, oh, please, Jesus, don't let me fall down the stairs. I hate stairs. Gravity, fuck you. No. You know, like, it's been an experience today. But you know what? I will never take for granted the use of my legs or my life ever again. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to make better choices in life. Because, uh, basically, I've done all the bad ones. So, uh, what's the word of the day? Bribery vodka. Because everybody likes to be bribed with vodka, right? And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go sit on my butt and watch TV and relax for a while and try not to die. <laughs>